Welcome to this episode. So, uh, we're located here in a dark, dingy basement somewhere in the Rust Belt with one machine seeking to be free from its firmware overlords with the infamous Jumper 37 located here. Where's my finger not in the picture? I guess it is. It's just covered by the button. So, what we're going to do today is something I've promised to do for a long, long time, is actually liberate uh, the Da Vinci. Actually, I have two Da Vinci's, and I've been saying I'm going to do this for a long, long time, and I decided today is the day to free at least one of them. So, I'm going to be doing, this is the um, 1.0A, and I'm going to be liberating it today, or at least hopefully. So, we are running... Uh, firmware version 2.1.0 and again I'll put this as an overlay I uh, also put an overlay of Jumper 37 because it's right under here under the micro or mini SD card I think it's a mini SD card no it's a micro SD card it says here um, kind of a strange looking fellow uh, might have a carrier in it though um, before I do this though I mean it's, it's kind of interesting I'm not sure anybody's mentioned however there's two outputs for lasers there's door outputs. I mean, this board seems like um, it's it's dated uh, for uh, 9-19-2014, and this is uh, 2016. So this board's two years old, so it seems like they've had the idea of what I would call the pro in their minds for quite some time. Um, because it does have door latches up here and, and, and all kinds of other little add-on features. So um, kind of interesting. There's also for an Ethernet port and uh, all kinds of stuff hidden in here and some kind of switch mechanism over here so uh, quite a bit different motherboard from what I have on my 2.0 so a little bit um, surprised by all the stuff on it and again one of the things with the DaVinci machine itself is this is a very high quality machine and it just befuddles me that they cripple it so bad with their crappy software and even crappier filament because one of the main reasons I'm actually jailbreaking this, <clears throat> if you will, if you can call it that, is really the filament. I, I'm just so tired of the crappy filament. I don't even mind buying their filament, but it's junk. You know, having now gotten the, the Wanhao using Hatchbox and other folks' ABS outside of the XYZ world, this stuff is junk. And so, anyways, I, I think I've harped on it enough. Off to the free. Now, a little bit here. <clears throat> What I've decided to do, I've, I've, and part of the reason I've, I, I've waited this long in doing this, is I've vexed about tutorial or not tutorial, and I've decided documentary. So the, the reason that I'm going to say documentary is, is this is not going to be a step-by-step -step tutorial because this means I know what I'm doing and I am replicating it. I do not know what I'm doing. So uh, I've watched the videos, I've web read the website, I'll put all the information below, but I don't know what's going to happen. And so it's very hard to do a tutorial. And once you do it, it's done. So I, I intend this to be more of a documentary of the process. So my understanding of everything I've read is really it's going to be a two-part process. So we're going to jumper this, uh, uh, jumper 30, 37. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use these these Arduino pin clips to short it out. So we'll turn right now the power's on. I'm going to turn the power off in a minute. We're going to jumper it, and then we're going to turn the power on, and then hopefully we'll have fade to black bars on the screen. Hopefully, if they haven't changed the bootloader, and then it'll turn into a brick. In which case, I'll have to tear out all these boards, replace it with um, a mega and, and ramps. So. Uh, but I'll have the rest of it. So anyways, let's keep our fingers crossed there. And this is part of the other reason for the documentary, because I don't know as they change or if this will work, etc. So everything at your own risk um, here if you decide to follow. The second piece is, is software, which we're going to upload. And I'll put the link to the, the, the GitHub repository down below. Uh, I'll see what I can do as far as screencasts. I'm going to be using an XP machine to do the interconnect. Um, I don't know how the screencast will work. I typically use a Windows 7 machine, but I have Windows XP here, so 
we'll see how that goes. If not, I'll just document the, the, the steps. And again, it's pretty much out there on, on the internet, and there's a couple other videos, and uh, I'll probably link those videos. So let's go ahead. We're going to power this, this bad boy off. And then what we're going to do is we're going to stick this pin in here and this pin in there and my fat hands out of the way so hopefully you can now see it in my fat hands out of the way and then I'm gonna reach back in here and turn the power on now interestingly it did not beep or do anything the lights are on and just hold it a second then release and I'm gonna walk around and guess what we have a full range of black bars it has reset itself folks so 2.1.0 so far so good now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut over to the um, do the software thing so there's going to be some cutting back and forth in here so let's kind of cut over there and see what happens so one of the things we need to do is copy the drivers over. So we've downloaded the Repetier firmware from the GitHub site. And we've gone down to uh, basically from S uh, SRC down to Arduino Dual. Do additional, do additional Arduino files, Arduino 6.5 as we mentioned, and then we move down to hardware. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this hardware and then under the installation under programs, Arduino, Arduino 1.5, blah, 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 all the way down to packages. We're going to copy this from here into packages. And it should ask us to overwrite some files. And I already can name, name file, yes to all. And boom, it copied all the files over. So... Uh, these these are the driver files for the Duo board that we need to con to connect to it. Now you should do this with with Arduino not running, the Arduino um, client not running. So when we boot up, we should be able to have that. Okay, so now that we have this piece, we're now in the Arduino client. We're going to go to the Repetitive Firmware. 9.09.2 master under SRC under Arduino do repetier and then under here what we're going to do is you'll see a list of files <clears throat> and you'll see one with the Arduino logo that says repetier and that's the one you're going to want to select because that will load the entire project so now we have the entire project open I'm going to close this other window and so we now have this open so now we're gonna to have to make some adjustments okay so the next thing we're gonna to need to do is we're gonna to go to need to go to configuration H now this is kinda of standard in the whole Marlin Repetier uh, slash world um, and again for most C based programming languages your config H file is going to control your settings so you're going to want to go down here where it says edit these settings manually um, and again, it's set for DaVinci 2, and so uh, this is, if we look down here, if not DaVinci, you know, 0 if not DaVinci, 1 for DaVinci 1.0, uh, 2 for DaVinci 2.0 with, with one fan, 3 for DaVinci, so we're going to set this to, um, to be 1. So 1 for DaVinci 1.0, and then since we have the newer version, what we'll have to do is go down here to define model and since we use J J37 to reset we're going to need to set this to be 1 I'm going to move the comment over the, this, this two slashes afterwards indicates everything that comes after it's a comma so we're going to be 1 and 1 for the DaVinci uh, 1.0a so again going back here 0 not DaVinci 1 for DaVinci 1 which is what we have and then again we're going to, since we use 37, we have the 1A, or 1.0A, so we're going to use 1. And um, we are going to save, just to be on the safe side. Now what we're going to have to do is, is connect to 
Um, so we're going to say COM5 because we, we knew that we found that out from uh, from uh, Device Manager and then uh, do, 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 do. we need to select the board and I'm not sure is it this is the piece where it's going to get I think a little bit interesting is I'm not sure the board and then I've got the board as the board manager uh, all AVR boards well I guess we'll just have to see so I need to do some experimenting okay so one of the things I had to do is I was running 1.65 on the Arduino client and I had some issues uh, with it compiling the code. So I'm back leveling to 1.5.8. One um, hopefully see if it fixes the problem. So um, uh, we'll see what happens. So I'm going ahead installing it and then I'm going to have to copy the files over and, and all that. Um, so anyways, once this gets installed, I'll come back and we'll take a look at copying the files. Okay, so we've completed our Arduino setup installation so we're going to close this the program is still shut down in this one uh, explorer window I have the Arduino program file C program files Arduino and we see hardware then over here in this one I've got um, S SRC ad additional Arduino files 1.5.8 hardware Arduino so what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this hardware file from here over to the program file here. Now what it's going to say is the folder already contains hardware uh, and the files containing files names you want to overwrite so I'm going to say yes and so now I've updated that file. So one of the things I'm going to do is unplug and replug the printer to see if um, see what happens, see if it finds it. It might have already because it's got the USB port for it. So then what we're going to do is open the Arduino. It's complaining USB not recognized. That's not big. Put that in there. And then what I'm going to do is tools board, it's got that, so port, um, hmm. ports are different, so let's go and see what's up with the ports, so it's complaining, so I have to figure out what it's complaining about, okay, I've power cycled the printer because unplugging and plugging the cable didn't work, it was confused, so I'm going to, it's found the, the printer, and so I'm going to hit yes this time only. I'm going to hit next, install software automatically, and notice it says BOSA program port. So it's uh, now searching and doing its thing about installing the port. <clears throat> and so this take a minute now you probably I'm doing this on XP so I'm getting the thing you know it's not certified blah 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 so I just tell it to go ahead and have it go on with it <clears throat> and then I finished so this is done and so let's um, see if, so port 5 has now reappeared so I'm on port 5 the board so now I'm gonna go down now this is the key that I didn't have in the other one. So I'm going to go down to uh, Arduino Dual Do Native USB Port and hit Select. So then I'm going to do File Open <coughs> the Repetier version. Then now this this is open. And one of the things I want to see is does this compile? So I haven't made any changes so it's compiling the sketch and let's see if this works got my fingers crossed see fingers crossed it's a Mars retrograde so um, hmm. 
so it's still thinking. So you can see down here it's compiling sketch statuses over here running out. And uh, so far so good. Again, fingers crossed. It's taken a little bit longer than I had expected. So, okay, so done compiling, no errors, so that, that was a really, really good thing. So it made me much, much happier than the, the last. So we're going to go over to Configuration H and zero one. So we're set for 1 for DaVinci 1.0, and then the only thing we're going to change is the z other 0 for the 1. <clears throat> Because down here for first generation, JP1 to reset, it's 0. For the newer generation, it's 1 for JP37. So that's what we did. So um, we're going to save that. And uh, we're going to recompile with that. <clears throat> Hopefully we'll be successful with the, the compile. And compiling sketch. So this will take a minute again. I might speed this up. I might not. I might make you sit through it. Um, so anyways, very important. 1.5.8. 1.6.5 did not work. Uh, we had, we've had a successful sketch compile. Good stuff. Um, now we upload it to the printer. Hang on to your shorts. So it's doing, so we've, we've done the first compile. When we did that checkbox that just compiles it on the local machine, it's now going to recompile for upload to the DaVinci, which is over there. So let's uh, cross our fingers because this is the moment of truth. <clears throat> so you see it uploading all the stuff to the DaVinci. Uh, SMA, SMB operation failed, 326 on 5, I don't know if that's, I don't know if that was supposed to be, let's, hmm, Let's try this again. I'm going to go watch the front of it. I'm not sure if that's how bad of a thing that is. Okay. So it's still compiling. Sketch use. Program storage maximum. Alright, so it's uploading. So it's running through all the pieces. And it's hitting 88%, 560 of 632 pages. Then it says SAM, SM, SAM dash BA operation failed at 90%. That is not good. <clears throat> I'm going to try power cycling the printer. Okay, so I just kind of wanted to update everyone on what I've had to do so far in the background. So, on the XP and the Dell, I don't know if it's the Dell laptop and the USB port, because the, the, I, I got some of these from work that they were getting rid of, and I'm, I use them in the shop for running different things. And this is the same one I had, same version, not the same laptop, because I got a couple of them, that was having issues with the CNC and the USB port, and I'm thinking that's what the issue was. So I switched over to one of my, um, uh, I don't know what they call these anymore, these super thin ones. Uh, but anyways, running Windows 7 and running 1.5.8, I was able to successfully upload to this. Now, I wish I'd had the camera on. It makes a whole bunch of noise when it does and resets. However, one of the things you can see down here, now if I get the right one, um, I'm not sure you can see this, but I'll, I'll arrange it so you can. Um, so I'll tip the camera down a little bit, and you can see this screen down here maybe. 
So verify successful, set boot flash true, um, CPU reset, and so it got down to 100% where we're stopping at nine or 88 before. So changing, changing that seems to have worked. Uh, yep, and. Um, And I have stuff on the screen, so uh, so far so good. So it did reflash it. So it was a little um, I'd say nerve wracking because as far as I'm concerned, it's a brick anyway. Uh, so it's now got the Repetier firmware on it, and uh, so far so good. Now just uh, we got to go to the next step and, and set the uh, EEPROM. Okay, sorry if this is a little bit bumpy or blurry. But we need to go down and now set set fail safe on. The interesting thing is apparently if you put a Wi-Fi card, I don't think it'll work in this one because it's got the micro. Uh, so here we go. Press fail safe. Uh, do you want to store EEPROM after loading? Yes. EEPROM stored. All right. So there we go, folks. The Da Vinci is now free. It has been liberated. So uh, looking forward to using this under its new life as, as a real printer. So uh, let's see how that goes.